Hello, and welcome to this Sherman and Riley video about pulling with overhead distribution conductor. Selecting which line stringing equipment to use is a straightforward process if you follow the basic tenets of safe conductor pulling. You need to answer several questions. First, what type of overhead conductor job is it? Transmission or distribution? Second, what type and size of conductor is being installed? The diameter of the conductor and the weight per foot of the conductor are factors that need to be considered when sizing blocks and calculating tension requirements. What is the maximum length of the pole? Because there needs to be enough bowline rope to pull the entire length. What are the lengths of the spans between structures? How much clearance is needed during the conductor installation? This is your installation sag. There may be room for a lot of installation sag, or there may be a secondary line, or a road or a building underneath which means installation sag needs to be minimal. All these factors come into play when determining the correct size puller and tensioner required for the project. Pulling force and tension force are maintained on the conductor to keep it at the desired installation sag. This will determine what size piece of equipment you need. A large heavy conductor over a long pull, like a transmission job, will require more pulling force and more tensioning force. Therefore, a larger piece of equipment, like a PTV 6013 13,000 pound puller tensioner may be used. A smaller distribution job with smaller conductor and shorter pull lengths can be managed with a smaller unit, like the Sherman Riley PLW200H, which is a 2,000 pound four drum rope unit. This animation provides an overview for pulling conductor using the Sherman Riley PLW200H. When using a PLW200H to install new conductor, at the other end of the pole, there is a unit that will be used for tensioning out the new conductor. You could use a reel trailer or a reel stand, a single drum polar tensioner, or a bull wheel tensioner. To summarize, what equipment you need depends on the size and weight of the conductor, the length of the pole, the average span length, and the allowable installation sag. In this illustration, we'll use a BWT 1424 bull wheel tensioner. The conductor is installed onto the unit, and the bull wheels provide precise and controlled tension. Keep the 3 to 1 rule in mind when positioning the equipment. Place the unit at a distance of three times the height of the lead block. The bowl lines will be run out the entire length of the pole. This can be accomplished by hydraulically paying out the line or using the manual payout brake to walk out the line, drive out the line using a vehicle, or for larger transmission jobs, even a helicopter can be used. In this animation, let's imagine a distribution job pulling out the bowl lines with a vehicle. For our example here, let's say our blocks are already hung from the structures with P-lines hanging down. The four bowl lines are hooked into the bumper of a vehicle, for instance a UTV or truck, and the lines are pulled out to the first structure. A brake pressure applied with the manual payout brake will prevent drum overspin as the bowl line is deployed. Once at the structure, the lineman will tie and place the bowl line ropes up through the blocks using the smaller P-lines that were installed when the blocks were hung on the pole. All four bowl lines from the PLW200H are pulled up through the blocks via the P-lines. The four lines from the PLW200H are hooked back to the UTV or vehicle and pulled to the next structure, and the process is repeated. Once these four bowl lines are extended to the other side of the pole, the lines are caught off to keep them in place, either at the last dead-end pole via line grips or tied off to the back of the tensioning unit. Now you're ready to start pulling conductors. Using a swivel, connect a bowl line to the first new conductor run. Now that conductor can be pulled up through the blocks and back to the PLW200H. During the pulling process, the tension on the unit or reel stand paying out the new conductor will need to be continually adjusted and monitored to maintain the installation sag. The new conductor is caught off and secured to the final structure. Again, using a swivel, connect the conductor to the bowl line and pull it through. The process is repeated until all the conductors are pulled through and tied off. After all the conductors are pulled through, they will be ready to be later set with final sag. The stringing blocks will be removed and the conductor is secured to the insulators. Thank you for watching our video on pulling a conductor using a Sherman & Riley PLW200H. Please keep in mind, this video is not a substitute for proper lineman training or for reading and understanding the equipment operator's manuals. Sherman & Riley is dedicated to getting every lineman home every night, no exceptions. For more information on Sherman & Riley transmission and distribution equipment, please visit sherman-riley.com.